Hey, it's Peter again, and today we are going over five tips for those who are new to Ring Fit Adventure or are looking at purchasing a copy. If you can get your hands on it, of course, I know here in Australia it is very hard to get at the moment. Still, if you are curious about the game, I can't recommend it enough. It is creative, it gets you moving in a variety of ways, and it's got some brilliantly simple yet effective health tips written in. The game is great at pushing you through the tougher moments and giving you a great way to get your fitness on, so these five tips aren't so much about the RPG or battle mechanics as such, they are more about your movements, your general fitness and health components of the game. Now you may or may not know these five things already, but they will allow you to get the most out of your workouts if you adhere to them. So here we go. Tip number one, do the warm ups. When you click on adventure mode or start a custom playlist it will ask you if you want to warm up. Now you might just be wanting to get to the meat of the adventure or smash into those workouts if you're time limited, but I must insist, please warm up. A good warm up generally features a cardio and dynamic stretch component. The cardio is to get your heart rate up a bit, get your blood pumping around the body, and the reason we do it for like a little bit of time, minute or two, is so our respiratory system has time to catch up and provide enough oxygen to our blood to be able to give us the energy to do the movements we need to do. The dynamic stretch, which is the part the ring fit does very well, is to move our muscles and both warm up the muscle fascia and the synovial fluid in our joints. This will allow our muscles and joints to move a hell of a lot better and will therefore help prevent injuries while playing or working out. So as you can see, it's very important. So just make sure you do not skip that warm up. And in adventure mode, you get that cheeky 300 experience for doing it at the start, which is always appreciated. I personally find doing a little running section to start off in adventure helps me work out better for those later battles. Tip number two, don't play every day. Ring Fit Adventure is a game, and you're going to have a heap of fun with it. There are side quests, silly characters, things to unlock. You're going to want to press on with the game each day and take Drago down, but it is important to treat Ring Fit Adventure as a workout program because that's what it is. Therefore, you have to treat your body as if you're doing a prescribed exercise program. Now, that means rest. That means recovery. Recovery is so very, very vital in the fitness and health process as this is where your body makes its adaptations. Your muscles will have micro tears, fatigue, lactic acid buildup. After doing exercise and after a few days, they're going to feel worn out. Sure, once you're conditioned, you could do like six days on the bounce, but look, if you're starting out, it's important to get your rest more than anything. I'd recommend at first doing no more than three days in a row and then have a full recovery rest day to make sure that you do not overtire your body. Tip number three is to not overestimate your fitness. Look, Ring Fit has a various range of difficulty from 1 to 30. The difficulties essentially alter the amount of reps you do in each exercise and oh boy, let me tell you, doing the squats at the start will do your legs in, alright? You're going to find about halfway through your sets, you're going to want to stop and curl up and cry, but don't do the curl up and crying part, just, you can stop. It's fine to take a break, it's fine to have pause between sets, you're working out for yourself, not for anyone else. But if you do find yourself stopping midway through a lot of your sets, just drop the difficulty, less reps is fine, you need to complete them all fully. If you're new to this, it's going to be a bit harder than you expect, so just be appropriate with your difficulty level and build it up when you're able to. If you're only managing 15 minutes on the lowest level at first, that's awesome. As I said, this is for you, not for anyone else, so don't overcook yourself and don't hurt yourself. Tip number four is to watch Tip's demos. So you've got the demo model called Tip. Now Tip is great, takes you through warm ups and cool downs and is accompanied by a KTC Galaska voice. You know, it's always good working out with Layla from Futurama. Tip also demos each of the exercises that you do and you've got to watch a demo before each new movement, which is great. The cues are pretty good, to be honest, and the demo model does show perfect form. Try and emulate that movement so you will hit the correct muscles for that movement. Performing the exercises correctly will allow you to get the most out of Ring Fit Adventure. And it's important to move right as well so that you don't unbalance certain muscles or muscle groups. If there are moves you're unsure of, watch Tip's demo and don't be afraid to practice those moves by going into the move separately through the menu screen outside of the adventure. Tip number five, saving the most important one for last, don't cheat. Just don't cheat the movements. Ring Fit works through gyroscopic movement and I'm pretty sure it detects distance between the Joy-Cons as well. So with this knowledge you can just kind of cheat your way through a heap of the movements. But please, don't. You see, you are just cheating yourself out of that movement. I mean, sure, like, I, I get it, you want to kill that last enemy. It might be tempting to cheese your way through and finish the enemy off, but you're cheating yourself out of the exercise. It can leave your workout unbalanced, and it can eventually lead to unbalanced muscle groupings, which would take more time and money to fix. And you're not burning as many calories. So, you know, if weight loss is your goal, every calorie counts. 
if you want better core strength or endurance, every bit of movement and exertion counts. If it's exhausting, that's good, but you know, just take your time, pause between movements if you need. Make sure you're making the workout count and don't take the work away from yourself. And you know, honestly, while we're here, turn on the complete all exercise set option for adventure mode. Um, it will allow you to complete your set on both sides. So even once you've beaten the enemy, you continue doing the workout so that you finish it off, you keep that balance, makes a much more balanced body, a lot better workout. So there we go, five health and fitness tips for beginning Ring Fit Adventure. Look, I'll level with you, these aren't revolutionary tips by any stretch or means, but they are important nonetheless. They apply in-game and outside of the game when working out, and you'll get some in-game bonuses as well, you know, doing the exercises properly will net you great moves, which do extra damage, and the variety of moves you get get you new titles to unlock, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, all good stuff. Look, if this helps in any way, let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to support me, please like and subscribe as well. Uh, that would really help me out. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will see you soon.